welcome to the Kanga Pooch Challenge. Okay, so where did this stem from? Why is it called the Kanga Pooch Challenge? What are all the details? So I love the idea that we, uh, if you are a mom, um, that we have little joeys um, in our tummies and then we give birth and now we're left with the pooch of the joey, um, which isn't a bad thing. We should be so grateful, right? That we got to carry babies in our tummies. And let me just be real, some people, you might be working on your Kanga Pooch Challenge and you have never even had a kid, I get it because it's where a lot of women hold their weight. So this challenge is for you. The goal here isn't necessarily to do it every day. You absolutely could. It is so fast. The goal is for you to add it into your schedule at least four times a week or five times a week, six times a week, whatever you really prefer. It's up to you what you would you know how much you want to work on it but where it kind of stemmed from was this so i um classes at a gym for um right before i was pregnant with my fourth baby and this woman came up to me and she had been coming to my class for maybe two-ish weeks and she says i have to tell you something and i said okay what's going on and she's like i went to the doctor because i was having some abdominal pain and she said and i went to the doctor and i had all these tests done and she thought oh my gosh i have you know, some sort of cyst or you have something going on in my ovaries or something. It just was so tight down here. And she's like, and I had babies 12 years prior. So, you know, that wasn't really my in, you know, what I was doing. And her doctor did all these tests and everything came back normal and she was totally fine. And he said, well, are you doing anything different? And she stopped and she was like, oh my gosh, I am doing something different. I'm doing these exercises that I have never done before and they involved these and she said and he said well you're you're getting feeling back you're building muscles back so from that day forward I've always thought man the power of these these little plates here uh, these are just plates because if you were on a hardwood for, or if you're on carpet you could do it with this or if you're on um, cement like I am then you can do it just like this are really powerful at working that lower ab area. So that is where the Kanga Pooch Challenge stemmed from. Um, I want you to try it. I want you to share it. I want you to ask your girlfriends to do it. Um, but before you even begin it, I want you to take a before photo. The best way to take a before photo, get your shorts on and take a picture of the side because this is what we're working, this whole line. I've had four C-sections at this point in the game and um, I feel like my lower abs after the fourth one have bounced back even faster after um, doing these and, and I'm only on day 25. So it's only a matter of time what it's gonna look like. And remember, the best way to build a habit is to do it every day and build that consistency. So let's get to the moves. Um, the first and most important thing is there's not a ton of modification here, except for if your wrists bother you, you could absolutely do this on your forearms. That would be my only suggestion, okay? So if your wrists are something that bothers you, then just come on down. Um, at any point in between sets, you could put one knee down if you wanted to, but um, those would be my two suggestions. Okay, so here's your first one. It's just a mountain climber with the slider. So here we go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Okay, um, make sh making sure your gaze is always out, never down, never you're kind of looking, never look between your legs. A lot of times people tend to look at their at the back of what's going on behind them. You want to just keep your gaze out in front of you, okay? So there's the first set. So you're going to do these. Um, I only do the whole thing one time through. If you wanted to do it more, you totally could. Okay, then we're going to have a pike. So my wrists are faced inward just a tad, like just a tad. And we're bringing it up, hiking it up. One, two, three, four, five. Six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. Um, there is the, that's your second move, that's a pipe. All right, your, your third set of these, you are going to be on your wrist. This is where your wrist might give you a hard time. I'm on a really hard grind. 
I normally put, you know, maybe a mat down or something, but either way. All right, so you're gonna come up in a plank, side plank. If you wanted here, you could be on your forearm, okay? So you could stay right here. You could also anchor this leg if you wanted, or if you're going all out, you're gonna bring your foot back. Oops, get it back up here. And we're gonna bring it forward. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. The most important thing to, to make sure of when you're doing those is that you're pushing up out of the ground, your shoulder and wrist stay aligned, okay? So that's your first set, and you're gonna stay right here. Now you're gonna anchor that bottom leg, bring the top leg over, and bring it up. Elbow to knee. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. Okay? Let's do the other side. I'll give you a little practice here. So here we go, top leg goes down, bottom leg comes up, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. Obviously the whole time, keep that core engaged, keep your abs in tight, don't just flail the legs up there or just throw your legs or your arms back. Really try to isolate that pooch, okay? Now we're gonna put that bottom leg down. Top leg comes up. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. All right, last set. And where'd my slider go? All right, so you've got both feet on the sliders. This is kind of like a frog, okay? So you're going to bring your legs back. We're gonna bring them in together and around. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and 10. Woo! And that is when you really start to feel the engagement because those abs start to get tight and away you go. So that's it, friends. That is the Kangapooch Challenge. Tag me on your social medias. Hashtag Kangapooch Challenge. Hashtag KPC. I am uh, Cardio Kids Chaos on Instagram if you want to check me out there and otherwise i have I hope you all have the best day and thank you so much for supporting me and i hope that you get the abs you always dreamed of bye